so what we're doing here is we are getting ready to finish off this little corner of the house um, that we never finished because we had to put the kitchen cabinets and stuff in first and the electrical wasn't finished in that corner so we, we weren't able to sheetrock or finish the floor in here but now that the rest of the house is pretty well finished May, sanding is going to make a mess so that we're using my filtered sander which should suck all the all of the sheetrock dust into a vacuum system um, but there's still some residual stuff that's going to fly everywhere so we're hanging some plastic to contain this area and try to keep the mess to a minimum so that's what we're working on now and uh, we'll sand this section Prime it, prime it maybe tonight and hopefully paint tomorrow and we'll be in good shape um, but this is the kitchen um, countertops stove and around the corner the dishwasher and the refrigerator the guys are doing a great job of keeping the kitchen nice and clean everything looking real good the floors are all nice and clean and uh, they're doing a great job Devin's bedroom is like any other 20 year old bedroom. Bed's not made, but to be honest with you, my bed's not made at the house either. So, uh, this room is all finished. Uh, heat and baseboards installed. Um, Devin's computer just needs to be hooked up. We got a big television screen for this wall, and we got to stuff this electrical switch into the wall. We were having some issues with trying to figure out what was going on with the lights in the room. And that's the reason for the patch up there on the ceiling. We had to open that ceiling open to uh, repair an electrical issue. Um, but we're coming. The bathroom is in a state of disrepair. Uh, it's more of a storage room at the moment. But this will be the bathroom off the master. Uh, the electrical panel is gone. Um, so the new panel is completely taking over and this corner right here will be the new um, larger closet in the master bath. The rest of the house is looking really good. Uh, chop saw is still down here because we're still doing some work. We've got, uh, these are all the brand new doors that are ready to go be installed. They're all stained polyurethane. And this is the kids' living room. They got a couch and two recliners and a high-tech coffee table. I'm in the process of making one uh, at the house. They've got their TV and the Christmas tree up. Washer and dryer in this room. And this is the furnace room up and running. Um, there's all the lines that run out to the rest of the house. And uh, it's really nice and warm in here. Uh, that bucket down there is to catch the condensate from the furnace, which I don't have plumbed up into a drain yet. Uh, but that's one of the projects i got to work on. Um, this over here is our manifold for our hot and cold water lines. And what we're going to do to hide this all in here is we're going to put a closet door um, probably right about here. So there'll be two sliding bypass doors to hide all of this. But I think we did a pretty decent job keeping this all nice and neat and looking. Up there, that green box is the controller uh, for the system. It's got uh, four different, so it's handled for six zones and you can see right now that uh, the power zone, zone 2 is calling for heat, zone 4 is calling for heat, and the valve is open for zone 4 for some reason. I don't quite understand that, but uh, the valve is open for zone 4 and water's flowing, and zone 2 supposedly is calling for heat, but it hasn't opened the valve yet. Then we have, these are all the different um, valves. Oh, here we go. This is zone 2's valve is now open. 
And if you look up here at the top, that's zone two. And you can see that little lever on the top that's pulled to the right. So now that valve is open and the heat is being distributed to there. So we got the various different zones. And like zone four is calling for heat. That's the living room and kitchen. You can see that little valve on the top that's over to the right and it's distributing heat. So there's six zones. We're not using zone six or zone one at this time. They're for different expand, different future growth. If we needed to add extra heat someplace in the house, we can do that. Like Devin's room might get, the bathroom might get its own dedicated heat loop. Um, but it was a lot easier to add the extra valves uh, in now instead of trying to retrofit. The water main has been moved over on this wall to make more room for all of these pipes going in and out. These gray things here are just the covers for the radiators which we don't have installed yet. Uh, other than that we've got the floor insulated in and uh, that seems to be working okay. We'll put some bad insulation in there and let's cover this over with plywood. So that's what we got going on today. We're going to try and get that sheetrock sanded and painted today.